Hello, everyone. This is Angel Torres, Master Coordinator in Shackley. And tonight, uh, first of all, welcome everyone. And tonight uh, we have a great program. Uh, we'd like to answer a question that, uh, that at least it, it's one that I love answering. And the question is, why do people who want to live a healthier, longer, and better life fall in love with Shackley and the Shackley mission and philosophy? And to answer that question, we have invited someone for, uh, from what I have deep respect and admiration. Someone that I met from a movie uh, where she was one of the superstars and the movie was titled, It's Your Business. This was a 30 minute, 16 millimeter movie. And maybe some of you have never heard of a 16 millimeter because now we have <laughs> <laughs> other technologies. But at that time, I, it, was a, it was a big movie. And uh, at that time I bought a projector to show that movie to everyone. Actually, I can say that I started building my Shackley organization using that projector. And I used to carry that projector in my car with the movie everywhere. And I have to say that I show it over a hundred times and I had to watch it too. <laughs> but it was a great movie. And uh, like I said, uh, Carolyn was part of that movie and I learned a lot. This is why I really learned about uh, Carolyn and, and others that were in the movie. Uh, Carolyn is a Stanford University graduate and uh, prior to Shackling, she was in the Peace Corps and also she worked in the United States Congress. And she is at the moment a presidential master coordinator that is the top, top rank in Shackling and actually, she was the 13th person to become presidential master coordinator. And I have to tell you, I could go on and on talking about Carolyn, uh, but I would like to have her do our presentation. I don't want to take more of her time, and I want you to have the opportunity to listen to her. So before uh, I turn things to the presentation to Carolyn, let me say that uh, this comes from deep from my heart. Uh, Carolyn is one of the most caring Shackley leaders that we have in all Shackley. To prove that, I have to say that she helped Shackley create Shackley Cares, or maybe it was the other way around. She created it and Shackley took it and did what it's today, which is a big uh, a big program in, in the company to help people in need. And the reason she came up with that is because she cares about people. So with that, I give you my good friend, Carolyn Whiteman. Angel, with such a, such a really um, warm welcome, I, I thank you so much. And to all of you who are here, I, I share the same respect and friendship that uh, that I've been able to have with Angel over the years. And so thank you very much. This is a collaborative effort. And what we'd like to refer to tonight is, is really why Shackley. And what I'd like to do is to start with just asking a couple of questions. I call my business career with a conscience. And really I think the most important question that we can ask for ourselves and then also we can be aware that anyone we are working with is asking is why? Why should I do this? Is this gonna be worth it for me to invest in the products? Am I gonna get product results? Is it gonna be worth it for me to um, become an apprentice and create a business? So I think that wonderful TED talk from, Sid, from uh, Simon Sinek on It Starts With Why has really driven a lot of my um, my commitment to the why of the business. So let's start out with that. And I get to introduce some of my, my partner, my husband. And my friend, my, my phrase is, if we're not part of the solution, we're part of the problem. So I'd like for us to be thinking about that for ourselves and also for people that we may be talking to. 
This is a continuation of my valuable supporters. On the left is our golden retriever, whose name is Skipper, and on the right is our son, Topher, um, who actually had the dog when he was at Florida State University and missed his, the dog we had at home. So Skipper was originally his, but he's been repositioned in our home. So that's part of my key support team. And I need to just, so here's the questions. The questions, these are the questions that prospective customers and business partners may not ask us, but these are things that they want to know. And I call these the P's because they all ended up starting with P. So first of all, is the philosophy, the Shackley culture. Why would someone choose to be a part of this? And something that I've used as I sit down and visit with people, if I have coffee with people, is I like, they ask me what I do and I go, you know, in times that we live in, which is in a world surrounded by a lot of frustration and a huge amount of anger, it's really inspiring to be able to partner with others that have a focus on the future, that have a focus on creating excellence, on offering solutions for some of life's greatest challenges, which include health and our finances, and on being aligned with other people who share these visions. And that's one of the really strong reasons that I have, that I honor for my association with Shackley. Let's look at some of the things that are part of our culture that could never be duplicated by someone else. You take a look at the, these extraordinary things. Time Life Magazine had 25 greatest adventures of all time, and seven of them were powered by Shackley products, including the fact that the, the hydration product that is used, has been used by the astronauts on all of the space shuttle flights since 1993 was actually created by Shackley for the astronauts first human flight across the Aegean, 147 gold, silver, and bronze medals from the, from the Olympics, polar explorations, nonstop flights around the world, the first American ascent of, of Mount Everest without, without any supplemental oxygen. Those are things that could never be duplicated by another company that maybe even starting up, they couldn't possibly have that heritage. What about the environmental movement? Shackley is the very first company in the world to ever be certified climate neutral, which means that the corporation offsets 100% of the carbon emissions. And what that looks like is all kinds of award winning the headquarters, all kinds of other things that Shackley has been involved with, including working with Jacques Cousteau. Um, what about, so the next P is the proof, the products and the science. When we take a look at as we invite people to test our products, which are naturally safe, they're proven effective, and which actually are green products, we take a look at 100 years of innovation that Dr. Shackley invented, that actually invented the multivitamin back in the very early 1900s. $300 million has been continually invested in research and development with over 70 patents and patents pending on the products that you and I get to consume on a daily basis. The certification of purity, I think is really important. The extensive testing by Shackley, the standards in the industry for actually being beyond organic. The steps for certifying the purity of the new botanicals, which are some of the herbal ingredients that include over 100,000 quality tests that are conducted every year. Third party testing, all kinds of scientific stuff. And then you add the scientific publications. Now these are not just, I, I hired a PhD with an MD or something to write a paper. These are actually legitimate peer reviewed basic scientific studies which have been published in numerous of the most respected journals. And so Shackley's actually gotten credit for advancing a lot of scientific knowledge about nutrition and health. That includes seven different studies on Vital E, which is our multivitamin, four different studies on Nutriferon, which is, the, is one of the immune support products, six different products on soy, and then comes the landmark study. And the landmark study was a absolutely groundbreaking study which took a lot of courage because in order, to, in order to have this study happen, all of the data had to be submitted blindly to the University of California at Berkeley 
um, and other areas where the certification was done. And this began with people who had only used Shackley products for 20 years or more. And what they did is they compared the results with Shackley supplement users, people who had used a single multivitamin of some sort, and people who had not used other supplements. Now, a lot of companies have tried to copy the results in this study, but because of Shackley's heritage, it was possible to find people like me, possibly like Angel, like maybe some of you that were on this call who were part of that original study, who could certify that we in fact had used nothing but Shackley products for 20 years or more. Take a look at the results. The HDL cholesterol, which normally is at the, the good rate is at 55. Non-supplement users and single supplement users were well below that. Shackley was well above the line. Triglycerides, the, the, you want a low number on this. Non-supplement users were higher. And look at how low the Shackley supplement users were. were. C-reactive protein, this is one you want to keep a low number. Non-supplement users, single supplement users, and Shackley supplement users. So these are just some of the actual tested and published results of the value and benefits of using these products on a consistent basis for basically for lifetime. Some of the world's foundation, some of the world's most extraordinary products, 25 exclusive patents, 30, 26 scientific studies, over a hundred different vitamins, minerals, and antibiotics, or in, uh, not antibiotics, antioxidant, antioxidants. And this is um, one of our core products, the Vitalizer, which not only has a core smart delivery system, but which has 12 exclusive patents, 12 different studies, and 80 different kinds of nutrients um, that are certified with four different delivery systems, which means they're digested in different parts of the body. That's one of our core products. Um, Vivix, um, extraordinary product with the Shackley difference that has 10 times more powerful than resveratrol alone in slowing one of the key mechanisms of cellular aging. And this is a, the kind of thing that other companies can't really put their fingers on. To have someone who is a Nobel Prize winner in medicine is part of the Shackley Scientific Advisory Board. And one of her statements is, the Shackley population is remarkably healthier than the general population, as shown by two different studies, the landmark study we just referred to, and the telomere study, which is one that, that she um, has, has worked specifically on. What about some of the other really prestigious partners that have been there, Shackley? Here is Captain Mark Kelly, um, the commander of the, a four-time commander of the space shuttle, um, showing his vitalizer that he was using while he was up in space. His brother, Scott, spent one year in space, um, powered by Shackley products. There are some of our Olympians. This says 137, I believe it's now 147 Olympians. And here's what's important about this for us. People are looking for products that are safe and they're looking for products that work. I say these Olympians validate both of those things because our Olympians are drug tested all the time. And so we know the products are safe and you don't get 100 plus Olympic medals unless the products they train on actually work. So those are some of the things that are our strengths. The Daedalus flight, one of the world-class expeditions that was powered by Shackley, where the actual performance product was actually um, created um, to support this specific fright. That's a great story. And this, I have to say, is one of my favorite pictures, to be in front of the space shuttle Endeavor after it had landed from its last flight. That's Commander Lark Mark Kelly who landed it. And for us to be able to sit there, stand there right in front of that. I mean, it's pretty extraordinary stuff. And to have that be a part of what Shackley makes available to us. So what about the possibilities of our partnership? Well, here's what I would like to say is that our purpose is really to empower multi-generations of powerful thought leaders to be money smart, to be savvy consumers, and to be entrepreneurs. And as we go through some of these things, I'd like for you to be thinking, is there anyone in your life or in the lives of people you know that these questions relate to? 
because the world has changed. So how are we going to maintain family health and build economic security? What if the role that we could have in our Shackley affiliation is to have a positive impact on offering some choices and some information for families that may be managing some of these kinds of issues. So think about other people as you go through these and go, wow, how does Shackley relate to that? You can come back and figure that out, but that's, this is an important thing to begin thinking about. First of all, you can't be really effective when you're in the hospital. So we can be much more effective when we're not sick. And it's all about prevention. That's really what the Shackley mission includes. And then we just look at some of these random pictures. Oh my goodness, how many of us have seen overweight kids that are eating foods that probably do not set them up for life in a healthy way? Um, including the fact that there are now more than 6 million kids across the country that are seriously overweight. What about those of us who know people who are somehow um, associated with ADD, ADHD, the number of times the kids are sick per year is seven times per year, but this trend for, for people to be diagnosed with ADD and ADHD has just exploded. What about people that are on the autism spectrum? These disorders have increased by 9,000% since 1980. And as I've mentioned before, I have a colleague educator who has been for her career involved with students of this, of this um, that have been diagnosed on the autism spectrum. You take a look at 1970, the number, and you take a look at the enormous increase of numbers of students that are now impacted by the autism spectrum. And of course, how do many people have to handle it? Well, you know, different kinds of medications. What about food allergies? They now impact two kids in every classroom and their life-threatening allergic reactions send someone to the emergency room in the United States once every three minutes just for food allergies. And I wonder, I mean, this is kind of a maybe unrelated slide, but after we look at this, you know, after two years, the, the David statue that um, that sits in Florence, City, Italy. The joke is, well, it stayed in the U.S. for a couple of years and it's being returned um, back to its location with a slightly different look. What about outside of the United States? Many companies make similar products that have very different kinds of ingredients. So in the UK, no genetic modification, only natural and food things in their version of mac and cheese. And here we go. In America, the same fries as there are in the U.S., which um, in the U.K., which contain three ingredients, the same fries have 17 ingredients, including something I can't even pronounce. What about gluten insensitivity? I'd never even heard of this a few years ago, but celiac disease is now 1% of the population. It is twice as prevalent in the past handful of years. And now gluten, insensit gluten sensitivity is impacting 10% of the population and may very well be more. What about um, hormonal issues that are beginning to impact particularly some of our adolescents? What about the increase in cancer in many kinds of kids? And again, as we go through this, think about are there people in your lives that are somehow impacted by some of these issues? What if we could create some ways to give them some resources? What about, <laughs> I hate this picture, but what about the EPA? Asking the EPA to keep glyphosate, which is basically Roundup. That's, a, that's an insecticide, a weed killer. But residues of that are found in so many of our foods. So here's Fritos um, with a large number. Here's uh, Doritos. Here's Oreos. Here's different kinds of foods with the residue of weed killer that's actually in our foods. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like this real healthy thing for us. And when we look at the way we, many of us were able to grow up, or certainly our ancestors, dinner 100 years ago was farm to table. Now it's lots of additional seasonings have been added to our foods once we get them to our table. 
and you take a look at the dangers of food dyes and artificial colorings and growth hormones that are added to cattle and to, and to animals, genetic modification, these things are going on within our food supply. So if we think about we are what we eat, but we don't really want to be fast, cheap, easy, or fake, that maybe having something that's closer to nature, which is what we like to represent, maybe that's something that could really be of value. What about 2016? What about these poisonings from some of the household products that are around us? What about the fact that the, um, the use of this, in this case, pine sol and lysol, actually create behavioral changes and change in the handwriting skills of many, particularly those young bodies that are subjected to them? So here we have in some of our household products, since it's been since 1976 that was the last time that a federal safety law was updated. There are five of these 84,000 industrial chemicals that are used in our household items. There are only five of them that are regulated by the FDA. And there are very, not too many more that have actually been tested by the FDA. So we're using this chemical soup of things around our household just to clean our house and our clothes. What about the changes in handwriting that happen with the introduction of chlorine bleach that goes into our clothes and therefore is what our young children sleep on? It's in their pillows, it's in their, in their sheets, it's in their clothes. What kinds of behavioral changes might those be making? So as we think about the fact that the world has changed, let's take a look also at the second issue is how are we going to look at building economic security? So the first part is our health and the health of our families. Let's look at our economic security. So what are people concerned about? Well, family lifestyle because of finances is very much under assault because there's too much month at the end of the money. People are looking for additional sources of income. And honestly, I, I cringe when I think about this slide which says, I have a master's degree, 16 years of experience, work two extra jobs and donate blood plasma to pay the bills. I'm a teacher in America. And that when we think about how widespread are the financial concerns about those people that are educating our future generations. And I don't know if this applies to our Canadian friends, but um, so many of these issues, I'm afraid probably um, cross the border for all of us. What about the oppression of student loans? 11% of student loans are in default or at least a year behind. There's $5 trillion in college debt now. And here's what's interesting. There are almost a million baby boomers that are 65 years and older that are still carrying student loans into their retirement age. They have not been able to retire those student loans. And some of them, the parents co-signed on the loans and they are, they are nearing retirement age and they're still paying on their children's or maybe grandkids' student loans. This is an ode to an Uber driver that I had in Colorado. He was a paralegal, he worked at the state courthouse um, I went and checked his income, which had to be an over $50,000 a year. And I asked him why he was driving. And he said to pay off $30,000 in his student loans. But he felt fortunate because some of his law school friends had over six figures a year in student loans that they had to pay off. So people are looking to be entrepreneurs. They just don't exactly know what to do. Teachers and community professionals that we know who are providing such wonderful services, um, many times to working parents, um, are stretching their income. They're looking for ways to improve their sanity and their family life. Millennials, 70, 000, 70 million millennials, and almost one third of them are living with their parents still, not because they want to, but because they can't afford anything else. They're the first group since World War II that has higher unemployment or greater portion of living in poverty than their parents at this very age, and four in 10 of them are swamped with debt. What about the sticker shock of raising a family? How about it's almost a quarter of a million dollars that, that costs to raise each child up to the age of 17 before they go and even get into college. That's around $14,000 a year. 
What about the baby boomers, 76 million baby boomers that are very financially challenged, diminish savings, they have shrinking job possibilities, um, and their medical expenses are on the rise with increasing um, having to manage deductibles and increase and decreasing access to good medical coverage. And what about the tax laws? This is a favorite business um, place for us to look. What about the tax laws to support us? Some of us, uh, you know, we can get upset and point our fingers and say, oh, those terrible people that change the tax laws, it's only for the business people. Well, here's the question. We can be upset at them, or we can also say why we would be brain dead not to actually become one of them, to start a home-based business, because everyone who is employed should have some kind of business, preferably a home-based business, and if we don't, you're losing thousands of dollars each year. If you want more resources on that, go, you can go to altusproductions.com. There's a whole series of free webinars and information that can educate us and our customers on this as a really important reason for people to join us in our business. What about the plan? Well, what's in it for me in the Shackley Comp Plan? Well, that can be answered in one very simple sheet. And this is the income, the average income um, of different people at different ranks, whether people are looking for $1,000 a month as a kind of a mid-range director just entering the business, or whether they choose to have $50,000 a year as an executive coordinator, or look into having six figures and more by creating an, or a business organization. So the income possibilities are all there. What about our profession, the profession of network marketing? This is something that I think we sometimes don't pay attention to, that people have lurking in the back of their mind, oh yes, but are you one of those things? Well, one of the best resources that we can possibly suggest to you is to, is to get a hold of the four-year career book, the specially master, special master's edition, which includes stories of Shackley leaders and has an extraordinary introduction about the page four or five from the author about the Shackley business and why this is the company that is such an extraordinary place for us to park ourselves for our future careers. What about our partners? This is a very important question that people will be asking. And if they're not asking it, they're thinking about it. Are they gonna send me to some online training where I'm supposed to learn how to do this myself? Or are there real life people that will be there to mentor us? So these are just some of my mentors, but the good fortune for all of us that are on this call is you have the opportunity to work with Angel Torres, who's one of my favorite leaders. Um, who's an extraordinary mentor. These are just some of the people that we all get to reach out to. This is Richard Blissbrook, who is the author of The Four-Year Career. Um, had a chance to have my picture taken with Tony Robbins. These are all people who are very strong supporters of the profession of network marketing. Um, being able to hang out with Sir Richard Branson, um, a classic entrepreneur who is very much in favor of our profession. Um, so what about our purpose? Our purpose is really to empower those future generations of, of powerful leaders. And so when we talk about money smart, it's to learn about some of the financial education. To be savvy consumers, it's to learn about some of those health issues and choices that we can make food-wise and lifestyle-wise so that we can look to be entrepreneurial thinkers. So what are our consumers looking for? Well, I say what they're looking for is two things. They're looking for products that are safe and they're looking for products that work. And that's why I like to use the example of the Olympians because they have showed us that. And then you add the fact that Shackley has 74,901 tests on the raw materials and the finished products just in the Shackley life plan alone. I mean, when you want products that are safe, my goodness. And then who are our customers? Well, our customers are smart enough to be looking for products that are safe and work, and they're busy enough so that when we do a good job of orienting them to the Shackley difference and why they've made such a powerfully strong and good choice, they are busy enough that they become loyal 
customers and consumers of ours, many of us on this call have either been or have customers and consumers that have been repeat customers for us for decades, over 40 years. Now, that says a lot about the value of the products. So what do we get to do with our product line? Well, we get to clean up our home and our planet. We get to nourish our body's largest organ of our skin. And I love this slide because on the right side, you can see that the youth product line is one that truly works. And so what does it do? 100% of the women that tested these products were clinically proven to have younger looking skin and two thirds of them shifted their skin age to a younger decade in just a short period of time of using these products. But look on the left side, there are 2,500 ingredients that are not used in these products, all of which are things that, I mean, there's nobody that comes close. I think there's some other company that says they don't have 1,600 ingredient, bad ingredients. So again, our products are safe and our products work. How do you know? Well, you can test it for yourself. You can take the 30-day challenge um, which, which is the combination of one of the, the strip and the shake. Um, or, and you can also jumpstart your feeling good by feeling fabulous in less than a week by beginning with the healthy cleanse. So in closing, we are drowning in information, but what we're really starving for is wisdom. And what I say is that's part of the culture that has been given to us by our founder and by the heritage of the science and everything that is behind our product line. So just like Simon Sinek, I know I speak for Angel. We wake up every day with a purpose and that is to inspire others to do what inspires them. Because in our minds, working hard for something we don't care about is called stress but working hard for something that we love is called passion. And that's really what we see as represented in our sense of why Shackley. So again, our purpose, um, we're looking in future generations um, to educate them to be curious and have money smart wisdom and the skills and mentoring to be willing to start as an apprentice, as an entrepreneur and create whatever size business venture they want so if your commitments align with ours, ask how we can partner to expand our global impact. So if you'd like to take a look to be in a business consistent with your core values, to provide choices and solutions for family wellness, um, with this taste of the concerns that we've talked about that are impacting so many people, what if your career could be focused on impacting choices so that we could have our career with a conscience. Because this is a mission that's too big for all of us individually. So in order to really spread the word and, and move away from that frustration of people being frustrated and angry, but to have some solutions, in order to do that, we're, we have to expand our group. So it's not just talking about the products and the value, but being willing to spread the word of what it is that we have available. Thank <music> you.